The Queen and Prince Philip are deeply saddened by the Notre Dame fire in Paris yesterday which gutted the iconic cathedral. The monarch, the supreme governor of the Church of England, paid tribute to the emergency services who fought to control the blaze. In a message to French President Emmanuel Macron, the Queen said, Prince Philip and I have been deeply saddened to see the images of the fire which is engulfed Notre Dame Cathedral. I extend my sincere admiration to the emergency services who have risked their lives to try to save this important national monument. My thoughts and prayers are with those who worship at the cathedral and all of France at this difficult time. Prince Charles and Camilla issued an emotional statement, adding, my wife and I were utterly heartbroken to learn of the terrible fire at Notre Dame Cathedral this evening and wanted to let you know immediately how much we are thinking of yourself and the French people at this most agonizing of times, and of the emergency services who are so bravely tackling the blaze. I realize only too well what a truly special significance the cathedral holds at the heart of your nation, but also for us all outside France it represents one of the greatest architectural achievements of Western civilization. It is a treasure for all mankind and, as such, to witness its destruction in this most dreadful conflagration is a shuddering tragedy, the unbearable pain of which we all share share Monsieur le President, our hearts go out to you and the people of France more than you can ever know especially in view of our experience with the devastating fire at Windsor Castle 27 years ago. We send you our most profound sympathy, however inadequate that may be. Triscordi Aliminovis The Queen has a close relationship with the Church and is Defender of the Faith and Supreme Governor of the Church of England. During her coronation in 1953 she took an oath to maintain and preserve inviolably the settlement of the Church of England and the doctrine worship, discipline, and government thereof, as by law established in England. Notre Dame caught fire yesterday evening at about 6.50 p.m. local time, 5.50 p.m. BST. The blaze raged for nine hours before firefighters brought it under control but that was not before the iconic spire of the 850-year-old cathedral fell to the ground after flames took hold of the entire column. One firefighter and two police officers were slightly injured during efforts to secure the area. The infamous two front columns of the cathedral were miraculously left intact but there are conflicting reports about whether the 13th-century stained glass has survived the blaze. Mr. Macron vowed to rebuild the Notre Dame and has already received more than 260 million pounds, euro 300 meters, in donations from wealthy businessmen. Bernard Arnault, who owns LVMH, which runs Louis Foudin and Moet Hennessy, announced last night his family will donate 172 pounds 0.7 meters, euro 200 meters, to restoration work. In a statement, the Arnault family said, the Arnaud family and the LVMH group would like to show their solidarity at this time of national tragedy and are joining up to help rebuild this extraordinary cathedral, which is a symbol of France, of its heritage and of French unity. This was followed by François Henri Pienault, who said in a statement he will give France 86 pounds.3 meters, year 100 meters. Mr. Pienault, the husband of Hollywood actress Selma Hayek, runs Group Artemis, which owns Christie's Art Auction House, Gucci and Bottega Veneta. Mr. Pinault said, This tragedy strikes all the French and beyond all those who were attached to spiritual values. Faced with such a tragedy, everyone wants to revive this jewel of our heritage as quickly as possible. My father and I have decided to release from the funds of Artemis a sum of year 100 meters to participate in the effort that will be necessary for the complete reconstruction of Notre Dame. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.